Um, we're going live right now, by the way. Yay, we're live. Um, we are live. Right Coming to you live. Right I've got it you. set up, JT, so I can play it several times in a row or however oh, yeah. often you want me yeah, to. You so. just need to show it once, I think. This is just a sound <laughs> check, everybody, too. There actually is going to be a video that's going to come. You're going to be able to see our faces. That's right. We're coming to you live from the beaches of the Bahamas. Do you or your friends <laughs> suffer from knobby knees? You may have Clamato. Clamato. See your doctor if you're suffering from a, if you're Try suffering to make from the symptoms of Clamato. So Brian, like, do you buy these I'm potato vomiting. chips? Do you buy these different weird flavors of potato chips? <laughs> <laughs> just to see if you like, them, just to see if you like them. No, or, the, uh, the the King Sisters actually sent me uh, a couple bags of uh, different uh, oh. food. And oh, how nice. I'm, I'm kind of scared. I'm not going to lie. He's doing a Canadian-themed <laughs> live stream tomorrow where he tries the treats that they sent him. Awesome. Wait, yeah. the Which weird Canada Canadian Day? chips. Yeah. Yep. When, when's Canada Day? Hmm. Uh, it's <laughs> already over, January. I think, for this Is year. Is it already happened? Okay. I think so, yeah. That's a pretty Boxing safe bet since Canada? it's almost December. Do they do Boxing Day in Canada? They probably do. They do it in pretty much all of the like British. All the what are they called? Representative monarchies. Provinces. Oh wait, yeah. it's French though, isn't it? Maybe they don't. All of, <laughs> all of <laughs> Boxing Day is French. No, French. Boxing, no, Boxing Day. Boxing Day, is, the Boxing Day. It's British. <laughs> I'm pretty it's sure. French holiday. Go away. Sucker bear at this Boxing Day. <laughs> <laughs> I will fight you today because it is a Boxing Day. Yeah, so that's, 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 that's not the box they're talking about. But <laughs> oh, okay. I will fight you until you get aggressive and then I will surrender. <laughs> today I will fight you. Oh, yeah, hey, so they, they they sent those, and then that got us into a conversation about food combinations, and then that got us into uh, the clamato, clamato, uh, the clamato and, and beer <laughs> mixture, and then the toasty locos mixtures, and it's yeah, kind of devolved into chaos. So here's a cute thing I just saw today because it was on my memories. Uh, it's like eight related, years ago. Save it. <laughs> it's not at all Clamato related. Well, I could probably make the connection, but it would be a stretch. So eight years ago today, my oldest, who's now 10, it was then two, uh, was helping me get groceries. Hey, look, it's related. Groceries. But uh, Emphasis I on said, the gross. We just came back from the store, and I said to her, uh, Cammie, well, you want to help me carry some stuff in? And she goes, yeah. And then she paused for a second. She goes, how about groceries? And I laughed. <laughs> <laughs> what a coincidence. That's good. Uh, I huh? think we could work that out. I think I have some groceries here you could help me carry in, as a matter that of is, fact. Let that me is think. perfect. My That's mom cool. likes to carry yeah. all the groceries in one trip. I don't know how she does it. So do I. Yeah, you do that pack mule, you slide yeah. them up your arms. Yeah, she's got like 50 bags of groceries and she's staggering in the door. I'm like, Mom, I can help you with that. Yeah. Well, that's how she stays so limber and healthy and vibrant. I believe that's the world's strongest man uh, competition now. They oh, is it really? And then they're like, <laughs> supermarket bags. <laughs> right after they hurl a boulder up on a roof, they carry in 50 bags. Of that should be the that should be part of the strongest man competition is doing something gross. Your stomach should be as strong as your biceps. My birthday's on Happy birthday. Cutting it down like a lumberjack. Oh, take a ride. Happy birthday, Carol. That's awesome. Kicking it live on the radio. Everybody oh, got a right to know. This ain't my first rodeo. Canadian sisters already celebrated Thanksgiving. Are you ready for the show? Are you ready for the show? Uh, I like our theme song so much. Thank you. Are you ready for the show? I hope you get lots of presents, Jessica. Now's the time, ladies and gentlemen, to grab yourselves a tall, cool glass of Clamato juice, <laughs> oh, yeah. kick back, and get yeah. ready for yeah. skews. Uh. Better at room temperature. Are you ready for the best? 
Oh, only thing better than Clamato juice is hot Clamato juice. <laughs> Welcome. I'm having a steaming yes. mug of Clamato juice comedy. right now in my comedy Brian mug. <laughs> <laughs> Welcome to Skews. My name is John. Uh, that's Juwan over there. Um, that's JT down there, John Thomas. And then that's Br Brian right there. You got Brian it. Brian April. I rest. Uh, we are super happy that you guys joined us this evening and uh um we've got a, a really great show it's a it's a gigantic show planned tonight really it's um, humongous mm -hmm. how how yeah. gigantic is it it's huge Bigger it's huge it. and i may or may not have a graphic to let you know <laughs> how huge it is oh i do uh well if, if a typical <laughs> show is represented by this woolly mammoth here then Cold tonight's hair, show hippie. looks a little something like this yes Ooh. yes cranberry mm -hmm. sauce what the heck ha oh it's sliced it looked like it was yeah. bulging in the middle sorry <laughs> <laughs> your cranberry sauce needs to have the can tracks on there <laughs> otherwise you are mm -hmm. buying inferior cranberry sauce That's right I, I worked with a um comedian his name was brent uh brett leak and super funny and he had a bit about cranberry sauce and how it comes out of the can like a thing and it's always in the shape of a can and the uh and when the dog sees it he thinks it's for him because <laughs> he, goes, he goes they he goes they don't know their food textures but they sure know their shapes um, <laughs> oh they can't see color that's it they can't see color but they can sure see their shapes so um Tonight, uh, before we get uh, started, yeah. though, we need gonna... to give a shout out. Oh, thank goodness we got. Is everybody in the proper order now? I don't even know. I'm in my support position underneath. Yeah, holding proper... them up. <laughs> holding Happy up Thanksgiving. The show. Uh, we need to give a shout out yeah. to our clickers. Okay. So, um, let's see. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Some you can... people like to stack up hay. They call those people rickers. I'll bet you didn't know that. Now let's call out to the clickers. <laughs> Okay. <laughs> All right. In no particular order tonight, our clickers of the week are Sarah, Sarah Whitaker, and Audrey. Thank you, Sarah and Audrey, and thank you to all of our clickers. Yay. If you would like to be a clicker, you can do that. You can. Anybody can do that. Mm -hmm. We will we'll take anybody. Mm -hmm. We haven't the said matter. no to anybody. I'm a clicker. You're a clicker. He's a clicker. She's a clicker. Would, would like you like to be, to be a clicker, too? You can be. <laughs> you can be a clicker at JoeBrady.com. And uh, <laughs> the perks are so, so numerous that we can't even mention them. But one of them is the effort party, which will take place after skews tonight. There goes JT on his way to the effort party really? right now. Yeah. yeah. Um, just for members only, you can help us plan the future episodes. You can... Sometimes we do that. Sometimes we just horse around for an hour. Yeah. Mm -hmm. um, watch YouTube videos. Yeah. We watch YouTube yeah. videos. <laughs> <On> YouTube. <laughs> uh, right. So that is uh, shout out to the clickers. Thanks very much for supporting us. We appreciate it. Uh, we couldn't do it without you. Thanksgiving is almost upon us, you guys. We were preparing for it last week. Hey, there's Roger Cornelison. You know that. You know Roger Cornelison. Put put his name back up there. Um, oh, do you know a guitar? Yeah, Hendrix do you know, played that guitar. <laughs> nice. Uh, Roger Cornelison, I think, is the guy that I worked with in Tulsa. I think he's a magician. Yay, Tulsa! Um, I think if I'm if I'm correct. So say something in the comment section if I'm correct. If you're the same Roger Cornelison that worked with me <laughs> at in Tulsa, was that before I worked with you in Tulsa? Yeah, Roger had a had a magic show that uh um actually it'd be fun to have roger come on the show some night yes have him, magic have him fun to come oh, on yeah skews yep all right yeah. well uh <laughs> hit me up roger on uh you know send an email to skews at johnbrandy.com or john at john brandy yeah so there it is skews at johnbrandy.com and let me know how to get in touch with you and uh we'll have you come and do some magic on the on the uh 
on skews. That'd be fun. Yeah. 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 Have a magic yeah. theme. I just found um, out today that David Copperfield has a secret uh, magic shop. If you go to his show in Vegas, he will take you to it. It's in a clothing store, and there's a secret <laughs> door. So that... step one is find David Copperfield. Mm -hmm. Yeah. <laughs> and then he'll yeah, take yeah. you to his shop. Exactly. So uh, it's a secret. A, it's a secret, secret magic yeah. shop. Yeah, you can only go to it on invitation. And if you go to his show, if you buy a ticket to his show, then he will oh. he will take you to his magic shop. That's and not really invitation. Then it's just it's more, like Sam's well, Club. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Are you, yeah, yeah, are you sworn buy. to secrecy yeah. then? Because if I you think so, yeah. <gasps> what? Oh. How do they enforce that? He makes you disappear. I don't know. It's, I think there's some <laughs> high class clothing store in Vegas that's along goes along with the joke. So, or the, so you go in the back and. Mm -hmm. Pull on the Versace dress or something. There, apparently, there's open. a suit on the wall. It's a very specific suit, and when you push on that suit, a secret panel slides open. Wow, pretty well, cool. Well, then you know it's not like a Ross because there's nothing that's going to be up on the wall. It's all on the floor. <laughs> yeah. That would be the magic trick: is can you walk through without stepping on any product? Be on the lookout on the news, and uh, if I get arrested for pushing over mannequins, <laughs> yes, <Yeah. laughs> Not I'm looking for David Copperfield here. store. <laughs> yeah, they're like Where's the door? <laughs> Where's the door? I'm looking for the secret door. Not a magic shop. <laughs> um, now you made me forget. Oh, I was going to talk. I was going to tell you my favorite uh, Roger Cornelison story was we had. Gosh, all right. Uh, you know Mark Anderson. Brian, yes. how he had a tendency to, and, and JT, um, he, he was, he was kind of, kind of famous for like making changes to shows while the show was, <laughs> you know, hey, uh, put on these pants. <laughs> what, why? Yeah. Yeah. And I remember that Roger, I remember Roger got, and I can't remember if this was Mark's idea or if Roger came up with it himself, but anyway, there was a confetti cannon that made its way into Roger's show. And <laughs> it was, it was so fun because every show they were trying to figure out how to incorporate this confetti cannon into the show in some sort of organic way and, and it never happened it was always just kind of this random oh by the way and i remember one show i was in the back and roger was doing his thing and it was it's a fun show but he was like in between tricks and he goes, oh, wait a minute, this. And he goes over and stomps on it and <laughs> confetti just flies off into the eye. He goes right back into his shit. Oh, wait a second, this, boom, fires confetti, goes right back into the. Did you tell me somebody like oh. would give the control to somebody in the audience? Is this the same guy? Is that, is that a real story? Did I make that up? No, I think that was. We'll have we'll have Roger tell us when he comes on. That's um, a great idea, Joanne. That's, that's, that's what I'm saying. That'd be fun yeah. to put in a show. Just, like, just give it to somebody you whenever you want to. Whenever you no. feel it. Yeah. <laughs> I, I, I think that was it. He would give it. Yeah, just give it to a guy and say whenever you feel like this, whenever it's appropriate, just fire this confetti cannon. And, and so then you'd spend the rest of the show kind of going. <laughs> right, right. That, is, that, is that is fantastic. Oh, There's a church great. in Bettendorf, Iowa, where they have two confetti cannons on the sides of their baptistry and whenever they baptize somebody they want confetti <laughs> into the crowd one time they really end them cool. too low <laughs> <laughs> uh, all right uh those of you who are uh regulars regular watchers of skews you know that we have an entire month of november that is or of october that's dedicated to the music of john thomas oaks it's called oaks-tober but uh, jt has also got some thanksgiving music that and now is this new jt this is, is this, brand, a new this is hot off the press as a matter of fact i just copyrighted it before the show started so this Holy is brand smokes. new nobody okay. has wow. ever heard this except wow. my mom and dad so okay. are you going to strike strike your own song on YouTube? Just be like, probably. Yes, He's about that. to get flagged by himself. <laughs> we'll right. get flagged for this. Self flagged. Yes, um, I I have some footage though that that I'd like to show because this <laughs> this is a custom that I wasn't aware of. It's a it's an old Eastern European Thanksgiving custom. Uh, that I think it comes a, from Slobovia. Uh, uh, what's what's the name of the country? Slobovia Vania Extistan or something. It's one of those eastern european countries and every thanksgiving kids look forward to this event and about <laughs> five years ago somebody caught some footage of somebody showing up on thanksgiving and it's it was in america so i think the tradition is moving here 
Oh. So it's kind of exciting. And so when I saw the footage, it just lit a creative fire under me, and I had to write this song about it. Because so I, I don't think we know have... if there, I don't know. Do you have the footage? I think we do, don't we? Yeah, there it is. <laughs> this is, believe it or not, this is the Slobovi, this is the Slobovi, uh, Vanian, uh, Thanksgiving centaur. Okay. <laughs> and he shows up every Thanksgiving. And so I wrote a little song because you can't understand it in Slobovia, uh, Vania ex Existania. Yeah. So it goes like this Santa Claus is slaving at his toy bench. The Easter Bunny's still four months away. Leprechauns are at the pubs. Cupid's singing overdubs. So who will come to see us on Thanksgiving Day? The Thanksgiving centaur is on the way to your house. You may never hear him cause he's quiet as a dormouse. He looks a little scary, but he's nothing you should fear. If you hear his clip, clop, clip, clop, clip, you'll know he's drawing near. <laughs> he gallops to remind us of the things we are grateful for. You'll love what the Thanksgiving centaur has in store. How will you know he came to see you? It's really not that hard. Just look for the cloven hoof prints in your own backyard. <laughs> he never shows up early cause a centaur's always late. He waits until you're sleeping, then he slips right through your gate. He doesn't need permission, no. A centaur never knocks. He'll come right in the front door cause he's good at picking <laughs> He gallops to remind us of the things we're grateful for. You'll love what the Thanksgiving centaur has in store. How will you know he came to see you when you wake up sleepy head? Just look for the big brown tufts of fur beside your bed. <laughs> Don't leave a plate of milk and cookies underneath the tree. He doesn't come for snacks. The centaur comes for you and me. <laughs> All right. Hey. <laughs> I, think, I think it's going to become a perennial favorite now yeah. that more American families are going to be expecting the Thanksgiving centaur. So what so, does he do? Yeah. He just comes into your house and, and leaves Stares leaves at tufts of fur. Sleep. Sneaks <laughs> around. Sneaks yeah. around. And <laughs> that was centaur. <laughs> <laughs> a centaur is actually half man, half horse, isn't he? Yeah. Well, this so. so. Did you say almost centaur or something, or semi centaur? I don't know. Thanksgiving centaur. <laughs> Thanksgiving centaur. Yeah. Quarter cent centaur on my mother's side. <laughs> In Slobovia. Yeah. Slobovia, Banyex, and. Oh, uh, I would. Man. I would actually like to hear. Uh, the chorus, maybe, maybe you do the chorus in Slobovian, and that could be like could a try it, like a reprise. <laughs> <laughs> then nobody would understand it. Uh, well, we know the words now. Yeah, yeah. We get the translation. Oh, uh, that was fantastic. Um, so before, <laughs> before we before we get on, I've got a I've got a video that I want to share with uh, with all of our viewers um, at home, because you guys have already seen this. In fact, you guys have oh, helped make this. Exactly. Um, but we, uh, this is the sort of thing that happens in our uh, Marco Polo group. We have a little Marco Polo group from for SKUs and every once in a while, somebody will get an idea for something and they will put it into the group. And uh, Juwan had an idea a few days ago and he put it, <laughs> put it into the group. And so I wanted to I share to that group. with with all of you. Uh, and so here it is. 
Here it is. I'm sending this to you guys because there's no way to put it. Ah, <laughs> uh, maybe. <laughs> I don't know. I was thinking of this guy, a fellow named uh, Roger Montague. <laughs> Gentleman Swindler. He he prints well uh he prints uh fake coupons on his Photoshop machine and he parks in handicap spaces and he goes to the proprietor of the establishment and he says Madam I found a rat in my beer. I should like a refund. And that is how he gets free beer. I want a yes, Photoshop. Whenever, whenever they talk about Roger Montague, they all go into a British accent, but only when they talk about him. Then they just go back to their normal accents. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, he wouldn't make a bad foil, would he? A villain? Come in and uh, steal all their aluminum so that they can't recycle it and get Nickels per pound, <laughs> Roger. Darn you, Roger, they'll cry. We were going to save those cats for our school fundraising drive, you <laughs> villain. But I do like Roger Montague. I do like that, actually. <laughs> yes. Does Mr. Montague pet the seeing eye dogs of people <laughs> while they're supposed to be working and put items from the grocery store back but not where they belong <laughs> so they leave items from the grocery store at the checkout instead of walking them back where they go on the shelf and hmm. <laughs> I had another one but I forgot <laughs> mm, he tips his waitresses with nickels. Mm -hmm. Does he push every button on the elevator before he gets off of it? Mm. Roger Montague spits his gum on the sidewalk. Back in the VCR days, Mr. Montague did not be kind and rewind. And... When he is at the grocery store in the 15 uh, items or less checkout, he goes in with 17. <laughs> okay. He takes tips right off the table at a restaurant before the waitress can buss it. No, no, no. Roger Montague. Prof <laughs> he uh, excels at... He's a gentleman swindler. Of course he does all those things. It's part of the accoutrement of the gentleman swindler. But his, his genius of accumulating wealth comes from his swindling. He puts... When he parks downtown, he puts a cover over the parking meter that says out of order. He, uh, what's the other thing? He dresses up like he's uh, a worker for the Children's Miracle Network and he swipes the change bucket right from the, the cashier's uh, from, from in front of her eyes because she thinks he's part of that anyway. So he's got he he's does low stakes low uh, low payoff heists, all these heists that he pulls off and they're very they take a lot of effort but they don't really accomplish much <laughs> Roger Esquire Roger Montague volunteers at the food bank and he loads up his car with goods and services and clothing and food for the homeless but he always packs an extra box of cookies for himself and the homeless never get cookies no they don't no they don't only Roger Montague gets the cookies <laughs> Roger Montague is always the first one in the line at the wedding reception and he never has an invitation <laughs> Roger Montague invites his friends to lunch and after he finishes his meal, he excuses himself to go to the bathroom. And he never returns to the table and leaves them with the bill. Yes, he does. That's what Roger does. <laughs> uh, I gotta got confess 
that uh, that I watched JT say, that's what Ray J does, <laughs> like 12 times. He just always does that. <laughs> <laughs> that's what he does. <clears throat> oh, it made me laugh every time. Uh. <laughs> we're we're right, getting we we're, yeah we're getting some ideas from the crowd here too. Yeah, yeah. yeah. I like the somebody said he opens up the Twinkies and just eats the free <laughs> <Yeah>. one. <laughs> there you go. Yeah. Yes, yes. A Twinkie. What a fortunate day. That's what Roger does. So. He sneaks into the movie theater with his bowl of popcorn and gets. <laughs> He believes that if you eat your groceries before you get to the checkout counter, you don't have to pay for it. <laughs> Puts the wrappers in his pocket. <laughs> uh, so, yeah, I, obviously we, uh, we kind of like that idea. Chuan, so I think it would be, I think it would be a thing that we could, we could add Roger Montague stories and tales, you know, now in perpetuity. <laughs> Oh, so great. <laughs> <laughs> That's what Roger does. That's what he does. Uh, okay. Uh, now we are, we've, we've come to the part of the show that I think everybody is really tuned in for. I think this is the reason that people are watching. And, uh, uh, and, and here it is. It's Catchphrase! In one corner, we have a Jew that's got more bling than Elton John himself, Brian and JT! And in the other corner, we've got a team that's more wild-eyed than King Kong of Caffeine, John and Juwan! <laughs> So we are going to settle this. I'm going to I turn understood it over. every word of that. That was yeah, weird. That... Did you understand it? Yeah, I understand yep. all the words. <laughs> There's got to be one that's... <laughs> oh, yeah. I thought there was going to be one word that was... Anyway. Yeah, oh, well, my. I was kind of I was kind of counting on it being undecipherable. But... I, uh, I understood it. Let's do it. Yeah. <gasps> Look at this, though. I can range you guys so that you're oh, on my teams. the team. And I'm Ooh. in the middle. There we go. I love it. Eh. Okay. So how do we determine who goes first? A coin toss? Uh, I don't have a coin to toss. Fleas before let's, beauty. Let's toss something else. <laughs> um, I'm just going to say that the reigning champs need to go first, right? Oh, Isn't that how it usually goes? Challengers usually go first. Oh, challengers yeah. go first? Is that how that goes? Mm. I don't watch wrestling. Okay. Well, good. <laughs> Challengers can go first. All right. Uh, let me add this. To so, the do screen. you want to give clues first? Do we? Yeah, oh, now you guys aren't on yeah. your teams anymore. Because <laughs> I just put you on the side. Okay. And then we'll, so we'll all get jumbled for people up. who this are is... just tuning in. Mm -hmm. <laughs> yes. So, the way this is going to work is we're playing catchphrase. As soon as I push this button, there's going to be a word on the screen. They can describe the word to their partner, who will have his eyes closed. They can do what they can to try to get their partner to say that word or or a compound word. It might be a phrase. Um, and they'll have one what? minute. And I have a timer cool. right here. So D there was a last time I did this, there was a question about passing. Can we pass? Oh. Were you allowed to pass? Have we you have, played it yet, Juwan? I thought yeah, you were we, gone both times. We, were, we did the first one with you and Tabby. And, oh, that's uh, right. I passed, and Tabby said you're not allowed to pass. So that's we need right. to establish that right but now. Can we're we gonna... pass? I thought we. I, I thought you I thought always you could. could. Yeah. I just went by a ten thousand dollar pyramid. Well, why course. wouldn't you pass all of them then until you get to the easiest? You don't point? get any points because you wouldn't well, get yeah, any points. You still Pete. waste. Right. You still waste time thinking yeah. about it. Yeah. Okay, <laughs> but or we we waste words that way too. But if you want to, if you we got to make it. A, we all got to decide. We can. All right. Say, let's yeah. say no we pass. can't pass. Let's yeah. say okay. no pass. No passing. No pass? Okay. We'll, we'll play it like big boys. I agree. Okay. <laughs> no passing. Just take your lumps if you can't get it. Your partner to say it. Okay. Who's who's giving the clues first? I. I 
What? You want me to give a clues or do you want to? You can. It doesn't matter. Either it way. doesn't matter. It's okay. I'm I'll already go trash first. talk, so I'm going to lose. Okay. I'll go first. You're going to give clues. So Juwan has yep. to close his eyes. Okay. Are we ready? I'm going to look down. I'm ready. On your Whoops. mark. This is going to be very difficult to push both to buttons put, at the same time. You need to put the word up first and then start the timer. Okay. On your no. mark. The top get of set. <laughs> go. Okay. This is a thing that you eat at thanksgiving and it's square the wow cornbread it's, yes and this is a game show on television that's played in uh two two uh teams play against each other <laughs> and they fight it's like a it's like kinfolk fighting oh it's, family feud yeah, <laughs> family uh, feud. <laughs> and uh, this is also something you eat at Thanksgiving. It is often found inside of the turkey stuffing. Yes, and this is—they uh, came over on the Nina, the Pinta, and Pilgrims? the Santa. Yes. Oh, the. Okay. <laughs> and this is this sure. is how you collect those guys. things. You collect things out of the field. You collect you collect. Uh, your crops out of the field. What's that called? Harvester. Yeah. yeah, uh, yeah well, uh, okay. I counted Combine. it, but that's it. You have to stop. <laughs> okay. I think that was five. Rake. Was that five? <laughs> I, well, you had harvest. Timer, you I harvest with counted. a rake, Chawan. You have a farm. Well, and uh, I accidentally it's put a small the next farm. Talk up. Yeah, we found the next one, so you might as well just. Yeah. Uh, oh, so real quick, oh. Dad. What? Nina Pinta and Santa Maria was Christopher Columbus. <laughs> Whatever gets the points, man. That's Whatever Christopher Columbus, John. <laughs> I'm glad. And, we... and the moon is a planet, you guys. So <laughs> right. things you learn. There on were skews. several of those that I was a little bit shocked that he was able to get. Uh, like like you square. eat it at Thanksgiving. You eat it at square. Thanksgiving at square. Cornbread. Yeah. <laughs> Nailed it. Yeah, that's good. Yeah, so let's see. You had one. I like kinship. Two, uh, what was it? Three, kinship fighting. Four. Kinfolk fighting. Kinfolk five. fighting. <laughs> okay, so you had five. Everybody was kinfolk fighting. Do you know why? The, you know why square is in my head with cornbread is because Mike Grooms used to tell a joke about, uh, and it had to do with the way you calculate the circumference and it's pi r squared and he would always say no cornbread r square pi r round <laughs> yeah kinfolk yeah, fighting was a great clue it's a game show where they fight where they have two teams playing against each other was not a great clue right, <laughs> right. I, 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 I give double i give or... either spectacular clues or stupid clues there's nothing in between <laughs> all right so i need our viewers to keep track we've got five points the challengers have five points and now to JT and Brian, yeah. who's going to be giving the clues? Do, 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 do. You want to go first, or you want me to go? First? You want me to give clues? Uh, sure. I'll give. All right. Did you I'll see the clues. next word after this? Yeah. Okay. Yeah, yeah. I'll I'll it's skip. Gravy. It. It's gravy. Yeah. <laughs> it's a it's a okay, liquid so we'll that you pour with... over mashed potatoes. Ooh, okay. All right. Brian's <laughs> closing his eyes. I have to restart my timer really quick. Here we go, oh, Brian. It restarted itself. Okay. On your mark. Get set. Go. Uh, this is on TV every Thanksgiving in New York. Uh, Macy's Day Parade. Yes. <laughs> this is what that people play. Uh, they sit down Football. and watch after. Yes. <laughs> this is what you wipe your mouth with after you eat. Oh, napkin. God. Yes. Come on. This is what everybody <laughs> rushes to the stores to take advantage of the sales. Black Friday. Yes. <laughs> this is what you use to eat on Thanksgiving in Four. your right hand. Yes. <laughs> your right hand. This is what you drink sometimes. Is Most of the time it's non-alcoholic. Uh, it's it's, it's wine. comes from uh, a tree and and uh, you cider. Yes, what kind of cider? Apple cider. Yes, cider. Okay, this is what people do on Black Friday. Uh, shop. Yes. Pack. Well, okay. what's the uh, what's the <laughs> active verb form of that word? Shopping. Yes. Okay. Uh, this is what you say instead of Merry Christmas if you're Happy an atheist. Yeah. <laughs> this is what you're in when you're inside your car and you you're stuck. You can't go anywhere. Uh, road roadblock. Uh, road, uh, traffic grid. Uh, grid. Nope. Oh, it's, it's it. The oh, end. Close. Time Thank out. Heavens. Close. Close. Okay. So backing up. It Would was they get like twenty five? Yeah. One, two, three, four. Oh boy. Five. 
Six. Oh, yeah. Seven. Yeah. Yep. Eight. Yeah. We got eight. There was that was it. The last one was gravy. I hate you guys. So eight. Two. Yeah. Okay, Pretty we're only close. down three. Juwan, not, we're not out of sight yet. <laughs> yeah, football's so hard. Football's so hard to do. I'm glad right. you guys are super awesome. And shopping is super hard, too. Yeah, and so is napkin. Yeah, I don't know how you guys <laughs> ever got napkin. Don't don't even give us that, Dad. If you had had that clue, you'd be like, it's a thing on the table that's square. <laughs> Fork, Fork is next level catchphrase. That's like uh, you guys are on a psychic link if you can guess fork. It's, it's no, flat jealousy, and square. The and... jealousy is dripping off the screen right now. <laughs> oh, I'm gonna tip over in this. Chair. It's not. A, it's not what a do Kleenex. You do on Black Shot, Black Friday, everybody. Talk about sour grapes. All right, so Juwan. <laughs> it's not over yet. Juwan's <laughs> given the clues now. Okay, I got. I don't have my... enough clues for everybody to get eight in each round. So. Okay, this I'll I'll just get two. Round. Okay, how's that? <laughs> okay. All right, so close your eyes, we'll Dad. We'll promise to lose miserably. I'll just get that? two in. Are you ready, Juwan? <laughs> Rock and roll. All right. All right, Mark. Get set. Go. <laughs> it's the thing that makes you sleepy when you eat turkey. Uh, tryptophan? Yep. Next, please. Uh, it's one of the sides. Uh, it's not. Mashed potatoes? <laughs> Keep going. Uh, Yams? Cranberry string, sauce? Stringy. Uh, noodles? <laughs> uh, no, not that stringy. <laughs> Spaghetti? Okay, they come out of the ground. Um, they're long. Uh, the green beans. Yeah, next. Sheesh. Um, it's another side of the meal. Uh, it's the desserts, and uh, it's made out of one. Pumpkin pie? Go, yeah, there we go. Keep going. Uh, uh, apple pie? <laughs> you got it. You got it. This next one. Um, uh, it's the thing that you turn off after everybody's left. The oven. It's, it's, it's outside, <laughs> and uh, the cars the, are pulling out. The, the porch light? Next, wow. yes. <laughs> All right, it's something you eat instead of turkey as the main course. Ham. Yeah, next. Um, <laughs> Mutton. <laughs> nice. Uh, it's something you would say about uh, peaches. Uh, oh, it's the on. end. The timer is going. The rest. <laughs> Give me a break. Okay, so that's actually the last clue. So I'm going to have to add some more for the last the last round <laughs> real quick. I'll throw some more in How there. How many was that, though? Are we that was one? here. I'll pull it back up. How many did five, we get? Maybe five. You got more than five, I think. I think that was six. Really? That, was that was respectable. One, respectable. two, so we're still down five, two. three, four, five. Oh, it was five. Oh. Five. Hey, what's a, good get, what's a good clue for green beans? I was, I was going to say it's a vegetable. Uh, oh, vegetable. First word is a color. <laughs> nice. That's okay. not fair. The producer is a beautiful yeah, genius. Yeah, but you only had like five, five seconds. He said it. We get one. Oh, three seconds. Yeah. He yeah. said it. We get one. <laughs> okay. Let me add a. Th let me throw a few more in here so that they can do one more round. I do not think but actually, that's fair. You guys didn't get enough to catch them anyway, right? No, right. They, they're past us. Right, because you got. Well, they uh, need well, another they, they round. They need two. Yeah. yeah. Okay, so well, they need to be able to get two. I don't know if they're gonna. <laughs> they need two to tie. Know, they guys. need three to win. It depends on what word you give them. Right. If okay. you give them the producer some. is a beautiful genius, then oh that'll gosh. take thirty seconds. I got some. Guys are so one. sad. William Bradford. Type that. <laughs> Let me give them. Um, Let me give them three Squanto. words. I don't know. Squanto. Off the top of my head. Oh, Stop! You're going to take some I might actually be able oh, to do. You, were you going to do William Bradford? I wanted Miles to. Standish. You can go back to some of the Halloween ones if you have any of those left over. I Hundreds don't. I thousands. changed them. Popcorn and butter. Um, Mel Gibson. <laughs> <laughs> Tomato juice. Clamato juice. <laughs> I should, I should have thrown that in there too. Mm -hmm. oh Clamato gosh. juice would be. I mean, Joe would, would Joe drink? I mean, I guess it's drinkable. Palpatine tacos. Okay. Oh, by the way, by the way, uh, next week we will have video footage of Joe eating the cans oh. of fish, which I'm, I'm going to go get while she's oh. doing it. You guys think of something interesting to talk about for 30 seconds. So actually, I don't, know we, I don't know if we mentioned this on the show or if it was at the effort party, but John was actually concerned because it looks like a regular tuna can, but it's starting to bulge. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> He's like, when I, when I poke all of this. He's going to explode in his house. And... 
stink up okay. his house for months. Man, I think we've man. got enough yeah, now. No, it needs to be done in a uh, nuclear waste facility. Yep. It needs to be done. It needs to be done in a contained room. <laughs> Where did he no go? Furniture. He he needs, there needs to be man. a drain somewhere. I can tell you that. Pocahontas. <laughs> Colorful leg. <laughs> what? <laughs> Can you paint with casserole? All the colors? I actually oh. thought of that one, but I didn't use it. <laughs> okay, ten, look at ten to eight. And can John you guys see? Me. Can you guys see the top of? Oh yeah! Screen? Oh yeah! <laughs> <laughs> so I looked it up. It's not bot. Well, it might be botulism, but it's supposed to happen. This is yep. the can of. This is the can of uh, fermented herring, and the top of the can is. Just like not actually buckle, bulging, man. it's bulging yeah. up. I'm actually worried about that. There's so much rotten fish inside this can. <laughs> I'm actually worried about it's, that. I'm not but the bottom is like. Out. I'm actually a little worried about it too, JT. Because, I'm just hoping it makes it to the to when you film. I mean, I don't, it, I don't that's want it to what burst. I, I don't want <laughs> it to explode like right now next to me. If it is was, botulism, that's dangerous. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> this is very true. Yeah. Uh, okay, so. I have I have five more words. Not that you need okay. that many, but I'm not looking. Oh, I'm not looking. Okay, let me pull this back up. This is the one we've already seen, so it should be fine. Mm -hmm. Okay, but after fan. this, after this, there's new ones. Oh. Okay. Oh, so I got to research. All right, are you ready, Brian? Ready. Yep. All right, and Mark, get set, go. Uh, something you place. Um, it's between the surface of where you put Place the food mat. and the plates. Place mat. Uh, bigger. Covers the whole area. Uh, tablecloth. Yes. <laughs> um, something that uh, Jawan puts on uh, potato chips. Ketchup. Yep. <laughs> They're tied. One more. Uh, one. One more what a tired, turkey right? says. Gobble, gobble, gobble. Yep. Yep. Uh, yep. The, the season of Thanksgiving is in. The season fall, autumn. Autumn. There you go. Yep. Um, oh, I did. Oh, you did put that in there. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry. Do we even need to do this? Try it. No, you don't. You won. I right. totally right. forgot that I actually did use it. Okay. Right. We're good. Uh, congratulations. We win. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Better man. That's garbage. Woo! Woo! Utter garbage. Flare action here. Woo! Let me tell you something, brothers. <laughs> That's just an example of what's going to happen. You can come back anytime and try for your catchphrase, but be Elton John Thomas Oaks. We got this on lockdown, brother, and you and nobody can do it. So what you going to do when Brian the Brain and Elton John Thomas Oaks run wild on you? <laughs> <laughs> uh, uh, that was, I, that was I, fair. I, Tag, Brian. Yeah. Tag. Down, 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 down. Yeah. I'm still not convinced that that was uh, completely fair. Oh I still think God. that we got cheated Get in over, some. John. Says the guy who has Trip. access to the slides. Yes, yes. yes. Tryptophan. Fork. That's true. That's all I'm saying. He didn't listen. He didn't even say spoon or knife or. Anything else? He said he went straight to fork. Yeah, I I know it's like so, and here's something the other you thing. eat with say, fork. Well, porch you, light. Here's the other thing. You don't eat with the knife. You don't just stab Napkin. the knife into the turkey. And this is serious the strategy. Right hand. JT does not stop, even if he thinks he might have guessed correctly. He guesses like three or four things it could be all yes. at once. Yes. yes. Yeah. So that's strategy. That's strategy. I'm just saying. Oh my goodness. <laughs> Just losing. All right. Well, All right. congratulations. Thanks, Jeff. Yeah, I don't want to. I don't want to be Jeff. a poor loser. I don't want to be a loser Anymore. at all. But, Anymore, yeah. But I certainly don't want to be a poor one. Okay. Uh, let's see. We're done with this. Now it's it's time for our. Uh, well, the, the only people who know about this are the people who were at the effort party. This was an idea that we had. Uh, last week at the effort party, how can we celebrate Thanksgiving? What what can we do? And we decided it would be a good idea to have a uh, first annual food food uh, fight. <laughs> and so what we're going to do is we're going to go into we're going to go into Scribble Knots and uh, we're going to create. I've already created some Thanksgiving foods and we're going to put them into a uh, into combat. 
with with each other and i spent an exorbitant amount of time oh. this week working oh. on this this is a good point julia should we pop that out uh, too with the wellmometer where are we on the wellmometer <laughs> right now it's, I, I don't have it animated yet, but I've got one over there that you can put up on the... Yeah. <laughs> we're, we're, we're completely whelmed. Right now, everybody is completely <laughs> whelmed. We're neither <laughs> under nor overwhelmed. Yep. Right. We are perfectly <laughs> whelmed at this point. I think this is about to get pretty overwhelming, so... Mm -hmm. It may, but we will unfortunately down. not be able to... To indicate can you, the can you pronounce it? Can you pronounce it both ways? Is well, it allowed to pronounce it wellmometer or wellmometer? Does yeah. It matter? Okay. It's, if you're it's English totally. or American. Okay. How would Roger Montague pronounce it? Yeah, how would he say? Oh, it's definitely wellmometer. <laughs> <laughs> Where have we sat on the wellmometer? <laughs> well, you have to. Where are well we on the wellmometer? Wellmometer. <laughs> well, um, you gotta ramp up the W. Well, does that well, turkey have a sword? Yes. The turkey with the sword. <laughs> so, okay, here we go. Uh, oh, wait, got, it's doing the that. crazy thing again because yeah. you're on that screen. Right, but now I'm not on it. Am I better now? Yeah, you can. we can hear okay. you better now. So I'm going to, once I go back to the game, and I'm going to not be able to talk because it does the crazy stuff with my voice. But basically, from left to right, we've got mashed potatoes. We've got a Yay. yam. Yay. With a marshmallow on the top yeah, of it. On the top of it. <laughs> yeah, I put the marshmallow, marshmallow on it. Uh, and then we've got some uh, casserole. That's a that's a casserole. And then the thing that looks like kibble is actually stuffing. So that's a fourth one over. And then we've got that's gravy. That's gravy. Yeah. Gravy. And, yeah. and then well, you know what the other one is? The, the red one? Cranberry there. sauce. That's cranberry sauce, right? And then mm -hmm. pumpkin, pie. pumpkin pie. Pumpkin pie. And Very then a hot. A turkey. Spartan turkey. Uh -huh. And then, uh, oh, I got to move out of the way. Hang on a second. I got to come back here and move. Standing on the food. Apple pie? Oh. That is. Mashed potatoes? Is, no, it's okay. macaroni and cheese. Oh, okay. Oh, oh, and cheese. Those are and rolls. Then, and then there's a roll, right? Mm -hmm. And then there's an actual cooked turkey. So we've got a turkey that's not cooked and a turkey that is cooked, and we will have them okay. fight. And so, oh, it would be great if the turkey that's cooked defeats the turkey that's not cooked. I know. Won't that be great? Everybody so, likes an underdog. So what? <laughs> <laughs> under turkey. <laughs> We're rooting for you, cooked turkey. <laughs> so what we need to do is, uh, the these are... It, it took me a little bit to figure out how to make this happen because uh, I was originally just telling the food i was just creating the food in scribble knots and then telling it to be aggressive um <laughs> but the problem with that was that then it would just fight me it would just fight my character and the food would not fight each other and so how i i eventually figured out that if i if i put the food i had to write a little script which is simple to do in scribble knots so that we we're going to put the food in the refrigerator right now the food is inert and it's not ready to do battle but when the food comes out of the refrigerator it will then be filled with bloodlust and, <laughs> <laughs> and, and it will begin to fight Murderous other macaroni. food so, so the food the food will ignore me and concentrate on just fighting other food in the area. Okay, so what I need to know from uh, from our people is what the matchups uh, need to be. We can put like four foods in to the refrigerator at a time, and then it will fill up. So well, what we've we... already asked for uh, live turkey and cooked turkey. That was live cooked turkey and and cooked yeah. turkey. Okay, so you guys tell me what food to put in, and I will. I, I say cranberry that. and sauce and gravy, but let's listen. Let's let's talk to the audience. Why would we do that? That's what you were saying to begin with. I'm like, hey, where are they going? Oh no, sword turkey. Somebody so you guys, pie. you guys will have to call it out because I can't actually see the screen when. Uh, it looks like turkey with no sword and tur and cooked turkey. So that's for sure. But you want to do four yeah. at a time? You said. Yeah, I think we can do four. So and there's 11, more. so if we do four yeah, at a time, it'll work out. Well, uh, Hijack the Life is pulling for the pie, so put the pie in there, too. Pie and? And the marshmallow yam. Yeah. Yam, okay. So pie you want to do pie and yam and? And the two turkeys. 
And the two turkeys. Okay. Yeah, that'll be the first quadro. Only one will step out of the ring. That's right. <laughs> rage. Rage. You can feel the tension building. <laughs> rage as they sit inside the refrigerator of hate. Organize the sides, put them together so they can be the audience for all the killing. What what do you got to do to the refrigerator? You just have to open it. I'm moving I'm moving the refrigerator kitchen? further away from the other oh, food so because I I other, don't want yeah. the helpless food to be attacked by the bloodlust <laughs> food. Will it, will it attack food that's not animated? Yet? Yes, if it'll if they that's it's it's out of its mind. When it comes out of the refrigerator, <laughs> this food is out of its mind. <laughs> you, could, you could build a barrier if need be. Oh, yeah. Can you build oh, a little could. fence? A okay, little fence let's there. Do that. All right, I'll go, I'll go do that. That's safety. a good idea. You know, for safety. We need a food safety. fight safety commission, like a That's regulatory right. board. Build a fence for safety. Heavy, heavy fence, Dad. Heavy fence, yeah. Yeah. So yeah. Otherwise, they just push it right other. over. Heavy fence. Heavy no, over. heavy fence. I don't know if that'll contain it. What if it jumps Build over? Build a fence for safety so they don't kill the food. Okay, here we go. As soon as I open up the refrigerator, as soon as, as, soon as I empty the refrigerator, I will do my best to yank the refrigerator out of way, and then the food will go at it. So you're going to have to watch quick because... Every time it, during the practice battles, th this doesn't take long. The food really? is just, they will th they will be torn to what bits before your eyes. Okay. Can you move Opposite the character away too so he doesn't get in the way? He's gonna Can die, I do what? Right? Move the move. character over by the move boulder? Malcolm. I'll try. I'll try to get him out of the way, but they, they just, they go at it really fast. He has so. to open, the, Malcolm has to open oh, the fridge. Okay, gotcha. Yeah, I can't open the fridge unless I'm close by it. So gotcha. He does have headgear there. It's kind of like lighting yeah, fireworks. Help. You light it and run. All right. Ready? Go for Black Friday. Go, oh! Go. Oh, oh, gosh. Get out of the way. Oh, oh, oh something died. Oh, no. Oh, sword cut you oh. Wow. He's not happy right now. All right. No, he's not. He's, he's going to come blue. get you. Oh, holy cow, that was fast. <laughs> Can you, uh... Well, he was cold because the, the refrigerator. Red, what? Red oh. refrigerator. Can you, oh. Uh... Are you putting him in? That's, the... that's to keep the him. The winners? Yeah. <laughs> that's the winner bracket. That's to keep him. The, the consolation bracket is the table. Guys, okay, so I don't know. All the food that wins will fight against each other for the final. I don't you know. For that the final. So the yeah. turkey. Oh. Yeah, he decimated everybody. Okay, so who's next? Uh, I saw um, in the list. We can do three and a three, a right? Three There's three. six left. Uh, gravy. Yeah, we'll do was, three and three. Gravy was next. On the list, and uh, cranberry, cranberry sauce, sauce. and We're the mashed the potatoes. Kool Aid man ever. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. Really? Guys, we're pulling for the underdogs, not the big yeah. bad sword turkey. And then the mashed potatoes. Sword turkey is the. Oh, you've Patriots. already got three in there, don't you? Oh, there's another one. Ooh. Oh, we missed one, so we have to do a four and a three. Yeah. Is that right? Four and four. You still got four left. You got okay. mac rolls. Oh, okay. Kibble four and four. Casserole. <laughs> All right. Or yeah, make sure you organize them. Right. <laughs> this is anyone's game. <laughs> you so guys notice it? when I when I point at them, notice what it says. Each one of them is called like battle. I put battle in front of it to differentiate <laughs> it from roll. the other ones. Right. So it's like so battle real, real rolls, quick, battle macro. <laughs> we need predictions. Who's gonna win? Battle I mean, casserole. Is my favorite. I'm gonna vote for the cranberry sauce. Sword turkey's like the oh just it, as he. It looks uh, like yeah. Rachel thinks stuffing. Julia thinks cranberry. Although I'm maybe that's cranberry. I'm not like cranberry is going to win because it's slippery. Here we go. You ready? There you go. Go cranberry. The mashed cranberry. potatoes. Cranberry. Oh, the gravy oh. is already down, oh. but it's oh, oh. 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 cranberry sauce is gone. It's gravy. gravy. Oh, it's like it's crystal gravy. Gravy. Now. gravy with the wind. Yes. Gravy. It looks like crystal gravy after it's been in the <laughs> crystal gravy. <laughs> Nobody guessed gravy. Uh, crystal gravy. Right. Oh man, that's too quick. The gravy took out the cranberry sauce <laughs> yeah, so fast. He's still trying to jump over the boulder. Rolls. 
I'm, I'm picking rolls for this one. Nobody saw the gravy win coming. Nope. No, People the gravy thought. win was was a surprise, wasn't it? Yeah. Like cranberry yeah, sauce. Yeah. Got that okay, so we've got stuffing, casserole, oh, ma yeah. mashed potato, <laughs> or uh, macaroni and cheese, and a roll this time. Mac and Rolls. cheese. I'm voting for mac and cheese. Uh, it is good. I think what it's going to be the, the roll. Yeah. It's so that's casserole rolls. What was the? That's mac and cheese. What's the last one? That one's stuffing. Stuffing. Okay. No. Yeah. Rolls will probably rolls. Okay, everybody got your bet? Oh, the fools gonna fight each other. Try not <laughs> to get it on your clothes. <gasps> oh, here it goes. Oh my gosh, one of them dies right out of the bat. Mac and cheese. Oh, the no, oh, stuffing wins. I never saw yep. it. I thought Monty mac was right. Cheese, wow. I thought mac and cheese was gonna pull it out. Mm. What? Something died on the way out. Mm -hmm. <laughs> was it yeah, rolls? What was it? I can't no. catch it. This <laughs> won't stand still. Okay, Take it easy, stuff. All right, so what do we have in the fridge? We have turkey, Sword we have turkey, gravy, and gravy. stuffing. Stuffing. Turkey, turkey gravy, oh, and stuffing. So what do, what do we think? Is that it? I think yeah. the turkey's going to dominate. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Sword I mean, it's turkey. got a sword. I'm still going to pull yeah. for stuffing, though, because that last was... Yeah, but, okay, okay do now, they retain their health from the first round? That's what round? I was about to say. As I was about okay. to say is that they are still damaged from battle. And oh. so if you've got a, if you've got a sense about turkey. who was the most hurt... Yeah. Uh, Jessica says gravy's going to win it. Yeah, let's pull for gravy. gravy. It's uh, coming out of the fridge, turkey. Man. Coming out of the fridge, it's all coagulated. <laughs> yeah, that's it's true. Like, Which might be an armor, though. Harder. That's what I'm saying. Yeah, it's got like a, it's got like that thin layer of skin on the top of it. It's hard to yeah. break. Yeah, hard to break through. So, there. so what do you think? Your your consensus is? I'm uh, saying the turkey. It's got it, a turkey. It's, turkey. Turkey is definitely the favorite of everyone. Yeah, but I th okay. I'm pulling for gravy. But there yeah. is some, yeah. so, there gravy. are some people saying gravy. <laughs> so it's toast tabby. Go gravy. <laughs> Nobody likes stuffing. Okay. Well, Rachel says stuffing didn't have a scratch on him, so. Oh. Ooh. <laughs> Interesting. I thought he lost a heart. All right, then I'll go. I'll 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 go you stuffing. Know, I'll switch. Stuffing. I'll go stuffing. Gravy, gravy. All right, here we go. Oh, this here we go, go everybody. <laughs> gravy wins. He's gonna take out the sword turkey. Sword turkey. Oh, no. dang. Oh, oh, come on, gravy. gravy. Get it, gravy. 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 Go, gravy. Oh, they're still <laughs> not really doing any much. They happy. formed an alliance. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> the stuffing. They're not fighting. <laughs> Why would they fight? <laughs> no idea. He's just cold. They're just friends. Sword. Yeah, he's cold. <laughs> How do you thaw him out? Get some hot water? No, because they won't fight unless they're. They're both cold. <laughs> oh, they pushed him over. Pushed him over. Uh, is, I think so that what? counts. Is gravy disabled? I think that counts as a victory. Yeah. I think the turkey Sword wins. turkey just... Oh, oh, oh no, he he's came back. back! He's not down. <laughs> he's back up again. Go count gravy out. Oh, he's on top of him. Teach Con <laughs> says we need to give gravy a sword. For some reason. Okay, so here's what we got to do. We got to get... You are very strong. We got to get two new... We got to get a new turkey and a new... A new yeah. gravy to fight and, each other. Uh, battle and turkey and a battle gravy. Yeah, because That's these two bad. have lost down their down. will to fight for some reason. <laughs> <laughs> okay. They, they so. knew if they took out stuffing, they'd have an easy time, but now they don't want to. Uh, you if trying. this happens again, why do you have three battle turkeys? You can never have enough. <laughs> That's the oh, wrong that's one. The... You can never have enough battle turkeys. <laughs> never that's have why enough battle turkeys. <laughs> Yours too. Oh, that's the one. Go. That's the winner. Okay, oh, so into the fridge with you. Oh, don't let him out. No, just, no, just, just leave him in we there. Just need gravy, battle gravy. That yes. is. Yes. Battle, battle gravy. gravy. If it happens again, I'm gonna crack up laughing. <laughs> now you notice that they uh, that gravy. they come out a different color, right? Because they're cold they're when they come out of the refrigerator. Yeah. They turn yeah. blue. They're steel so that's for why. victory. They the yeah. snowflake symbol means they got in the, they were in the fridge. Right, they're the saying, I am means they're cold. cold. Give, pu give pieces a chance. That's you know, good. I could <laughs> give peas a chance. Oh, yeah. peas. That's what I, the, I could. Uh, <laughs> that's what Pat said. I could break the refrigerator and then they wouldn't be cold. But 
What's okay, here we go. Reference to dinosaurs. The TV show Dinosaurs. Oh yeah. yeah. <laughs> yep. I used to watch that. All right, here we go. Here we go. Ready? The last battle, battle royale. Okay. Let's make Sword sure turkey music. against battle gravy for all the marbles. How do they come? They're fighting. They're not. What? Fighting. It happened again! <laughs> it happened again! They're not fighting. Did you? The gravy's punch, not even cold. Punch the gravy. Put it back in the. Don't don't! Oh, they're God. not fighting. But they're, they're friends. Wow, Maybe you put weird. the gravy back in the fridge. Yeah, that he's, not, it he's not cold. Yeah. Hmm. Put the gravy back so happy it. together. He did pick him up. That would seem like oh, that... he's, he's stomping him. That is hilarious. The gravy. Gravy. I don't know. I don't know what to Imagine make of this, gravy. you guys. We have but a they, turkey with a gun sword. Gun. And it's gravy. <laughs> don't be together. Gravy together. I don't and want it. to fight anymore <laughs> with you. Is that <laughs> okay? <laughs> Should we? <laughs> <laughs> this is completely unresolved. Should we just should we just leave it this way, or should just should we try I, I don't putting know. the gravy back into the fridge because it's not blue? It's not blue. cold. Yeah, so he's saying cold. he doesn't think it went in the fridge. Do you have to wait long enough. It did because it's hopping around. It yeah. came out and it's. But for some oh. reason, click on it. What's it say? It's aggressive gravy. What does it say? Aggressive gravy? No. Well, it, they're not. Battle they're, gravy. Neither one of them are aggressive. A live battle gravy. <laughs> right. Right. He's sentient, but he's not. Uh, we, he's lacking. He's the sentient, blood but he's not. But he's him. he's not uh, apparently. <laughs> I vote for friendship. <laughs> I, vote for friend I I don't know what to do. I I don't know how to make well, them. Yeah, there's fight. Jasmine's explanation. That kind of makes sense. He's like Uncle Harold. <laughs> Yeah. Uh, so I Ricky. suspect Rose Montague has something to do with this. <laughs> Rose. Well, I, I feel How like dare you. I feel like yeah. we could we could go in and uh, if if we give them the aggressive trait, all they'll do is start attacking me. <laughs> okay. Well, at this um, point, because yeah. there's <laughs> the trying, what's the someone's got to die. Joe. Someone has got to pay. <laughs> right. So you know the rules of Turkey Dome? <laughs> Turkey <laughs> Dome. Two foods on top, mm. one food leaves. Uh. Mm. You know what I wonder? I wonder if it's because the turkey, the live turkey, is actually not viewed as food. Mm. Like if we put, like if, oops, let me go in here. Let me make another food. And I'll bet it you. all the other things, right? Or I'll is bet it you, the turkey fought with everything else. Or did everything else? Or did it? <laughs> did he win on a technicality? He's mm. riding the gravy. That's a good question. Are you gonna put the battle, uh, battle turkey number one, see. the cooked one? And We're gonna figure this out, folks. You, one. Everybody, stay tuned. Mashed potato. It's only one. Oh Ooh. yeah, he still fights that, but he won't fight the turkey because it's not food. Angry. Interesting. Use turkey number one, she says. Turkey number one's not going to have anything. Turkey number one was eliminated. <laughs> That's Cold true. Alive this is a, instead of squid game, it's turkey game. <laughs> Let me repeat the instructions again. The food yeah, those are the only foods. Well, dang. There he is in all his Making glory. food. Oh, there we go. Food. That's or edible. <laughs> oh, that's oh okay. now we got that's it. This is it, everybody. <laughs> this will do it. Rub your hands together. There we go. This is the thing. <laughs> so exciting. Oh. <laughs> oh, man. Oh, boy. This ought to do it. <laughs> Down on it, the farm things. Are okay, now you got to move the fridge out of the way and bring the turkey back, or put them in the fridge. Oh, you got to reinstitute. Oh, but is that one is. okay? Is that one has that one been edited, or do you have to create a new one now with the new I'd trait? Delete him. Just delete him, just oh, in case. You're deleted, battle turkey. Number two. Number two. Okay, put him in the fridge. All right, all right, 
Okay, music, it. please. <laughs> I'm so excited. We're going to do it again, but we ended it this time. They're going to kill each other. This food is the one thing food. Yeah! Yeah! He's on, oh, he's he's the, on the run. He's, he's running he's from, he's from the gravy. Here it goes, here it goes, here it goes. He's here he comes. The gravy. <laughs> he's not even fighting. <laughs> He turned it into a cow. He cooked his goose and then he killed it. (laughs) There you you have it, ladies and gentlemen. Yes. Uh, Yes. It's it's gravy. It's gravy, hands down. Yeah. What can defeat gravy? Did you see how the how the turkey just ran Ran away from the gravy? (laughs) It was terrifying. Yeah, he was scared to death. Um, That was great. All right, so uh, coward. That's our show. <laughs> I don't know how you come down from that. <laughs> we should have just ended right there. Yeah. Mm-hmm. yeah. The turkey went. There we go. I I had I had no idea how who was going to turn out victorious, but that was better than I anticipated. That was, was. more fun than than <laughs> I thought. That yeah. little that little twist at the end, that dramatic twist where the gravy and the turkey like formed a, a union. I didn't see that coming. Yeah, that yeah. was a yeah. it, was, it kind of pulled on the heartstrings more than I, I think, expected. Yeah, it did. <laughs> I, I think, think uh, Roger out of that. He, <laughs> <laughs> I was gonna say I think <laughs> Roger paid them gravy. both. <laughs> yeah, paid them both <laughs> off so he could bet on a tie. Uh, all right, <laughs> ladies and gentlemen. Uh, next week. Next week it's pickled herring, so don't forget or yeah. fermented herring. So don't forget about that. And it's time for our snappy wrap up, which I have no idea how that's going to work. All right. Well, the winners of tonight's uh, catchphrase game are going to read our credits. Oh yeah, that's fitting. Brian and JT's. Um, and before we do that, I'm just going to mention once again that you can become a Click member at johnbranding.com. We had some new Click members added this week who are going to be at their very first effort party Whoa. right after the show. Hey. All right. So that's fun. Uh, you can find Juwan at castingcrowds.com, figure out where he's going to be next. You can visit johnthomasoaks.com. <laughs> Or don't <laughs> figure out where he's going to be no, next. I don't know. Yeah, and I'm support Brian at his Patreon, patreoncom slash Comedy Brian. He so, needs to buy more wigs. And you can find all that information in the description, I think, or you will be able to soon. Mm-hmm. And I'm gonna say goodbye to John. Bye. See you at the effort party. And Juan. Bye. All right. Um, what do I need to do here? I need to push our credit button. All right. So you guys are going to read the credits uh, like Roger Montague. <laughs> and you can you can feel free to make up, uh, you know, accusations of our click members, too, if you'd like. Ready? Ready. Oh, there we are. The comedy click. There's Kenny Anderson. Oh, yes. of and Ray stars. Bates. Always yes. pays full price. Yes. Oh. Pat Edgington. Pat Edgington. Oh, my goodness. Look at him. Richard George King has never heard of Groupon. No. <laughs> Jeffrey oh. Niven. He, he claims to be David Niven's brother. Abby Steiner <laughs> has no idea how to save money. It's crazy. It is. Daniel Zahn is the same way. <laughs> Bye.